Now, from the Tri-State's best news station, Jennifer McIntyre, Holly Doyle, and Lou Stowers with sports. This is WGEM News Weekend Edition. Good evening. Quincy's Grand Prix is losing a legend after 30 years. WGEM's Travis Yates has more from South Park. The sport of go-kart racing is losing one of its driving forces. If you watch drivers' meetings and you watch him talk, people listen, okay? Because they respect him that much. And when he says something, he means it. He sticks by his word, and drivers respect that. They Terry Trader is talking about his father, Gus Trader, who has organized the Grand Prix of Karting for 30 years. This year, however, is his last year as organizer. This race will go on next year. I'll, I'll be here to help him with it. But after 30 years and 74 years of age, I think I need to get some assistance. So now, instead of doing all the work, he'll be giving advice to organizers. Uh, 30 years of doing something, we would hate to see that die. You know, it's, it's too hard to do something this long and then discontinue it. So what we'll probably do is we'll put together a race committee uh, under his supervision that we can go to him. The Grand Prix of Karting began in 1969 with 73 entries and a volunteer staff. But under the leadership of Gus Trader, it has evolved into a nationally recognized event with 300 entries and a $35,000 purse. This race is such a valuable thing for the people of Quincy to see, and it's a great happening this spring of the year. And with Gus's son trying to get next year's race nationally televised, the future of the Grand Prix of Karting looks to be in good hands. Travis Yates, WGEM News, Quincy. And we'll have more on the Grand Prix coming up in sports.